There was a town named Troy, let's see who lived in it. The Greeks, they came through and burned the city down. There was a town named Troy, let's see who lived in it. Let's start with Andromache, she was Hector's mistress. They had a servant girl who worked in the blood room. Her name was Xanthi, she had a heart so large. One day Alistair came in with a deadly fever under Xanthi's care. She fell in love under Xanthi's care. She fell in love. There was a town named Troy. Let's see who lived in it. The Greeks, they came through and burned the city down. In the palace of Paris and Helen, the war outside, their door was raging on. Menelaus, back in Greece, missed the wife that Paris was loving on. Meanwhile, Marpessa had her heart set on Alistair's love. Even though she is the blood of poor Zanthi. There was a town named Troy, let's see who lived in it. The Greeks, they came through and burned the city down. Now Hector is dead and the city is helpless. And Andromache can't bear to see her son. The story is coming to an end. But first, let's talk about Iason. He is helplessly in love with heartbroken Zanthi. Marpessa and Alistair are now forbidden lovers, and Iason wants Zanthi's hand in marriage, but the singer's granddaughter, Polyxena, wants him. There was a town named Troy, let's see who lived in it. The Greeks, they came through and burned the city down. Helen is nervous and Paris is dead, so now she must marry his brother. She makes plans to go back to Greece and make it up to Menelaus. One day the Greeks come in. They leave a wooden horse at the gates. The horse is there for hours. Then at night, when everything is still, the horse starts to break open. Greeks pile out, driven by hate. They light their torches. There was a town named Troy. Let's see who lived in it. The Greeks, they came through and burned the city down. No one is saved and the women are taken away on this terrible day that Troy was set in flames.